thanks for tuning in to the I'm Just Bougie Show. And it's your host, Hairman Shug Avery. And you know I keep my lip gloss near me and pop it. <laughs> you know what? I just finally had to get to a place in life where I was just like, I don't know. I'm just bougie. <laughs> All right, so if this is your first time to my channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We like open conversation here. We like opinions. We like all that good, 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 good stuff. Now let's get into our show. So before we get into it, let me play a small clip so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. So here we go. Become controversial. Watch. We don't Thanks give so much. That's really our time. I apologize. You can't do that to black media. You I got to do that to white media and black media because my wife has to go on at six o'clock. Okay. Oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. I it's a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, it don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact I want something for my community. I would love to see. Take you a look at my record, man. I extended the voting racks twenty-five years. Well, let's bring in Fox News contributor. Wait a damn minute, <laughs> Joe Biden. Listen, we love you. We love you like our auntie married a white man, and he comes to the cookout, and he's cool. We talk to him, and he really for us. We appreciate it and we know that. You get what I'm saying? But every once and now and then, you know, you know, Uncle um, Bob just gets beside himself. He just way, 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 way to come to move. <laughs> and that's exactly what I feel like when it comes to Joe Biden. Like, he can be extremely comfortable, but at the end of the day, he's our candidate and we know he's for us. Like, yeah, I know. I went back and I've read and I've seen some voter mistakes that he has been a part of some legislation in the past that just was not the best for African Americans. And, you know, ignorance is bliss and hindsight is twenty twenty. all those things. So let me get into the article. Shout out Madam Noir. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, Joe Biden is a little bit of heat. Um, he has since came out and apologized um, for saying these things. But I felt like it was worth talking about because I think it's a common mistake. And it's the it's a mistake and it's something that i feel like a lot of white people may do like they have a tendency to box us all into boxes like basically you know either it, whatever their experience good or bad um they tend to look for certain behaviors or maybe even it doesn't even have to be behaviors but the the way racism work is that you don't know anyone and you just assign like a behavior or you assign like a hate towards them or you just make assumptions about people you don't know and you have like a negative dispositions towards them so I say all that to say I hate when white people try to box us because we're not monolithic as black people yeah there are black republicans and there are black um, independents and there are black democrats and there you know there's just a, like we are so different we don't all think the same we don't all feel the same we don't all believe the same but this notion that we all like to be democrat you have <laughs> like you know what I mean me black is to be democrat and we've all heard that you know we feel like the democratic party takes advantage of the black vote because you know we show up we show up and we show out and you know the last um the last election i think 90 or i think it was a reported and y'all don't quote me but like i said this is my channel you can go look up anything you want because i know i'd be on point Anyway, <laughs> I think they said it was like 80 or 85 percent of the black African-American um, vote went to the Democratic Party. So that lets you know how strong and the majority of the African-American vote is black women. So, you know, we do hold the power in that way because we do get to the polls because we understand the importance of it. But, you know, with that being said, you know. Uh, we feel a little taken advantage of because people just assume we're going to automatically show up. So anyway, so I'm reading this article from Madame Noir and it is written by because I think that's important because you know this is like this is what these people do for a living so I feel like you know shout out the writer all right so this is written by Veronica Wells and it's in Madame Noir's uh on Madame Noir.com if you don't know what that is it's a you know a site that probably is geared towards African-American women um, it's spelled M A D A M E N O I R E dot com. So check them out. So they have a lot of great 
articles and I use them a lot like I go to them a lot they're on my news feed on Facebook so it's some it's a, it's a site that I enjoy getting information from all right so here we go the article it says child <laughs> why is Joe Budden Joe ooh, Joe Budden why is Joe Biden speaking on black identity and it says every week during our scheduled family FaceTime calls the conversation inevitably dur- delves into the latest um, coronavirus news how president trump is handling this whole thing and whether or not we believe he'll be voted out of office we've been hopeful but my dad and i for weeks have been expressing our concerns about your boy joe biden while a lamp while a lamp post would make a better president than the one we have now All right, so let me read that again now that I get what they're saying. While a lamppost would make a better... I'm sorry. While a lamppost would make a better president than the one we have, we weren't entirely sure that Biden had the mental fortitude to convince the American people that he was the best man for the job. After all, Biden is known for being a loose-lipped cannon. And I could easily see Trump, as he's done with other presidential candidates, simply talking over him. He most definitely did that if you paid attention and which I know a lot of people like to just breeze by certain shit. But that was really aggressive behavior that we seen um, Trump do when when um, last election when he was against um, Hillary Clinton. Like the standing up by her, you know, standing over her while she's talking, interrupting her as a woman. Because as a woman, you know, we don't want to come off as too aggressive or too overbearing. So sometimes, you know, we'll shrink with that type of male aggression. So he knows most definitely what he was doing. Because if she responds negatively or if she would have, you know, you know, really put him in his place, it would then say, oh, she's too emotional. Could she handle this? Like, it's always the questioning of the woman, not the you know questioning of a man that you see really doing disgusting behavior behavior that's not anything that we're proud of now looking later on uh, like how he handles people you know other foreign leaders in other countries don't like this man they don't respect him and they clearly laugh at him i mean joe biden was actually practically begged to get back get into the race you know what i mean by other foreign leaders because that's who they respect you know you don't have to agree with all foreign leaders and we don't even have to agree with whatever sitting president that we have you know i just for me like who's been a democrat voted democrat all her life and i'm a moderate i'm not even like a pure democrat anyway for me oh i'm sorry y'all for me i was just like mm, i miss bush i don't care which bush it is i honestly i'm like i miss bush because there's something to be said about that professionalism there's something to be said that your president speaks for the entire country the the doctors and the most smartest people of the world and that's not to say like your president is like a scientist or the the smartest person but you you trust them enough to know with good you know people they surround themselves them being open-minded them being experienced and knowing the laws and politics and all different type of areas that they can come to making sound decisions and right now we just don't have that so you know i may not agree with everything that you know the the last bush that we had in office did but what i did and i do respect is the fact that when he got up to speak to us you know he really put effort into that you know he wasn't disrespectful to people questioning him you know he didn't act like uh, that like a king like an autumn you know he he was just You know, he got the process. He understood how to play the game. And I don't, I'm not someone who preaches that play the game because I always feel like hard work shit always supersede the playing the game but the fact that matters he get, he gets the pomp he got the pomp and stance of being an elected official at that capacity and that's dope and that we don't have that right now so for me it's really hard because i think the rest of the world looks at us and is laughing at us right now because we have the most corniest you know president in the world if i had to think about it our president right now If I had to think about, like, who he reminds me of, like, corny level. And to me, I'm sorry, Meek Mills is the corniest nigga on (laughs) earth. And he's, like, Meek Mills-like to me. So, I don't know. I put him in that category. So, let me finish. Um, After all, Biden is known for uh, for being a loose-lipped cannon. And I could easily see Trump, as he's done with other presidential candidates, simply talking over him sadly today my father and i were vindicated recently biden sat down with charlamagne of the breakfast club to ask biden 
to ask Biden about his candidacy. At the end of the interview, and I'm gonna play this interview, and I'm gonna play, and I'm I'm gonna play like two minutes of it. I'm gonna put that two minutes clip at the end of this video, only because I think it's important for you guys to see what. Um, and uh, the the clip I'm showing you is from foxnews.com. Like I go there to watch sometimes, and I go to the station sometimes, and I can take in take it in in small doses. And the reasons I do that is because um, to sharpen my skills to talk about politics, I really feel like it's a necessity to know what the other side thinks, talks about. Um, just to see and understand like how they get to their conclusions. You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes that's extremely important when you're preparing to talk about things. Just know what that other side talking points are so that you can be counter, you can counter, um, counterpoint them. So that's very important. All right. You got some questions, some more questions. Well, I'll tell you this. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or for Trump, then you're not, you, then you ain't black. This is then you ain't black is weird. <laughs> Listen, Joe, that's for this weekend for the fish fry we're going to have on Monday. <laughs> but that's what a cook I'll do. Like, you, you relax. That's not what you're supposed to be doing on national TV. But I also, like I said, I'm for Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden. I think we're like really gonna make a bigger deal out of this than we should. I agree. I hate when white people group us and then make assumptions based on that. And I don't think it's fair to us as people because, again, there's people in like a state like a Montana, like a state like South Dakota, North Dakota, that don't have daily um, interactions with black people, right? So it's really damaging, and it's really. You know, we got to protect those. Uh, <clears throat> it's really damaging when s assumptions are made across an entire uh, an, uh, an entire race of people. You know what I'm saying? So we fight that every day to say, hey, no, we do rock. Like, I mean, like, literally, we do rock and roll. But we created it. But that's not a story. But, like, we do so much that it's not all about just, you know, being known for... Um, violence or being no from being hood rats because you know you know you may have somebody who only exposure to black people is reality tv right so they assign those negative um they assign those negative um actions that negative or dysfunction way of living life to us as people across the board you know so you know i'm i'm for reality tv so don't 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 get it twisted but i i think there's enough tv that we're represented though we're starting to be represented in different um in different ways so that's why insecure is so important you know that you got to offset some of the craziness that you see on love and hip-hop that way right um shows like real housewives of atlanta that's most definitely important married to medicine is definitely like all these shows go to show that there's different sides of us because what to show our academic side is extremely important to show our political side to show our family side to show black men and, and households being fathers to their children that's extremely important right so the more that we can get shows to talk about those things to show people who don't have daily exposure to african americans that yeah yeah don't don't just ju don't just think we come in one way <laughs> but listen i'm voting for joe biden that's not um this is not going to change that for me um like i said i just think he's just really comfortable it just for me when i went like i had an opinion of like okay that's not cool which is still my opinion don't make those assumptions but seeing the video now and seeing how comfortable he was with charlamagne i just think joe biden joe biden sometimes forgets that the camera's around and he just like he's just really comfortable he's a good person and i i stand by that and i feel that way he's a good person and i think sometimes he gets really loose around certain people and it, it's caused him problems right you know so I don't know that's how I feel because the way he just lit up and just talked to Joe Biden like he was talking to Obama I just like I said I don't think it's harmful I don't think he was trying to be malice or anything like that anyway those are my thoughts <laughs> like y'all know how we do I was still sitting here with my lip gloss and my lips popping and they were just popping and I was just you know saying what I'm saying but them lips are still glossy <laughs> all right y'all I'm out don't forget to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it let's build our community here um I don't mind a difference of opinion all that other good 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 stuff um like I said, I'm on Twitter. I don't mind engaging and talking to people. And I'm also on Instagram. Um, you can follow me at OG underscore Suge Avery. And I'm out, baby.